Hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I'm not where I currently was because I explored a little bit on a recording and that recording got corrupted. So basically, um, I explored this area and I was about to go get the part and I ended the episode. And then when I went to go edit it later, luckily I, I was only able to record one episode. When I went to go edit it, it was corrupted. So just pretend like you saw me explore that. It really wasn't anything interesting. Um, just, you know, a little bit of ducking and weaving and there was like a little mini challenge down there. Besides that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head right here. And here we are. I'm not sure what this cavern holds for me, but I'm excited to not see the bottom, apparently. Oh, who's this? Henrietta. Or Henriette. Um, I've changed, Daria. You look pretty crazy. You look mutated, one would say. Okay. Okay. I can't even see where you are. It's a little unfair. Okay. I still can't see where you are. Which, once again, I find unfair. But genuinely not that bad yet. I'm sure eventually. Ooh. Okay. Looks like I gotta run after her. Oh, Jesus. Like LaSalle Tall. I don't know why I'm dodging them. Oh, shoot. Can I destroy that landmine? That would make that a lot easier. I still have this little landmine running around. Okay, that'll work. Wait, are these just becoming? Like, from the sky nowadays? Maybe. Maybe we dodged. And then we didn't dodge. I think they are just coming out of her back. These go really far. Okay. You are violent? Oh, okay, whoops. I need to make sure I heal. I don't know if I've been healing properly. Those maces aren't that bad. But she is. That'll work. I don't know. Part of me thinks missiles is more because she moves around too much for slime. She moves way too much for slime. Shoot. I think you slime there, to be honest. She's just like forming landmines, which is extremely annoying. That was the wrong button. Luckily it didn't pan out terribly. Part of me just thinks to dodge the landmines. I'm dying. Uh oh. Uh oh. The hardest part about this fight, I think. how far the actual fight is. Like it's actually a very far distance you're traveling here. Oh, I'm dead. Pain wheel doesn't do much. Oh, yeah, I should charge it up. Yeah, right here. This is where we use melee. Okay, it won't let me. There we go. Everything's going fine. Everything's going swimmingly. Oh, 
Whoops. This is gonna be pretty big, I would say. I feel like a lot of her is just dodging until she gets vulnerable. Now she is not vulnerable. Yeah, this is when she's vulnerable. I'll take my chances there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, things are happening. They're very bad. I don't know where she's gonna throw it, but it's scaring me. Oh, I went the wrong way, like a dummy. Oh, thank God. Oh my goodness. So I had a heal, I was fine. Just didn't think I was fine. Sun touch, what does sun touch do? Oh, that was a hard one. The end scared me. I, I got a really good method and it worked, but that end, I thought I was gonna throw. Adds a lifesteal attack to melee attacks. Actually, that's really good for me because I use a bunch of melee. But what do you take away for that? We now have three. I can't take the blobs away, can I? Unless I just... Unless I just go full melee here. Let's just, let's just do the full melee build. Shotgun for up close. Blobs for away. I guess away is not really the right term. Full melee build here. Because that could be really useful. Poor Henriette. She was so, like, consumed to get the dead suit that she went and mutated herself. Who does that? Who's this guy? Should I ask who this guy is? The map goes this way. Is there actually anything that way? Oh, there is. Takes me back to the junk pit. Which brings me up to the ogre save point. Perfect. So that's good. Because at least like you get healed from that. And now we gotta like traverse the part. The final part. Back up to Roper. Hello, buddy. If you ever happen across a creature like this, a living example, keep well clear. What is it? A devil Stalker. I knew they were going to come back to bite me. Resk, as they've been known on some worlds, take a breath and tremble. It was alone, so I dispatched it myself. No need to summon Construct. I'm sorry. This makes me feel like there's going to be a Devil Stalker very soon. Perhaps the most fearsome creatures we've encountered, the corporeal arm of Gorna. Or more specifically, the masters behind Gorna. Of the masters behind Gorna. Their actual origin is a mystery, but Resk tend to appear wherever there is a true threat to a local worm god. If the Roslock fail, stalkers come next. It was early spring, I believe, when ours arrived. Years ago, green sprouts poked up through old snow. Five thousand strong and stoic devil stalkers landed on my head. A worthwhile invasion, so went we to war. After Construct and I killed the bulk, the remainder retreat. They still wander. Waiting for orders, I suppose. Or an opportunity. Or an opportunity. So I'm definitely gonna deal with one, eh? It was tiresome and pointless, as all war, but I enjoyed the time I was able to spend with Constance, at least. Uh, pardon, Construct, you call him. My dour old brother. Even in the midst of such violence, it was a comfort, a lovely reminder. We were close, Little Blue, before all this, the two of us, the, the three of us. Three brothers? One, then three. 
I don't understand. Jessica, the construct. Jessica, the ghost. Jessica, the wanderer. Singular for a moment, then shattered forever. So is it one person that divided themselves into three? But never mind. It's past now. So this would be the wanderer, right? And then you have the ghost that we've seen and the... I'm assuming the tunnel with the eye might be the construct. Are they the planet in general? Um, hello again. You're aware. Aware of what? I'm Relic. I'm blue. <laughs> Just another stranger. I'm sorry, excuse me? Why do you keep running away from me? Do I? I think. Apologies. I hadn't noticed your bright and burning intelligence. I thought you were a tumbling little stone, worked round by the ages. Or perhaps a playful gust of wind. At most, the lurchings of a dream. And I make no habit of chatting with dreams. I don't understand. You certainly don't. Are you a ghost? That's what I've been wondering. Not as you understand them. I never once died. Never lost a flicker of a moment. Never went slack. I am forever aware. That's the difference. What does that mean? Oh. We are the masters of ghostly living. We are the beings of willful ascension. The what? first and forever rulers of the ghostly realm. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. Excuse me, please. I must continue my survey. Survey of what? The damages, the rot and the ruin. The sharp truth at the end of every rebellion. Pardon. Hold this. Visit the cut machine. See how it began. At least, the extent of their offense. You'll see plainly that we had no choice in the matter. The cut machine? A pebble? <laughs> why, why am I getting a rock? Yes. A pebble for a mountain. Stand on a mountain. The highest mountain. And swallow the pebble. So that's going to choke on rocks. Look up and dream of the cut machine. Okay. You'll see that pebble of perspective. Predictable and necessary. We sent the Roslock, the stalkers, the hunters... We have to break this world. Keep breaking until it settles into place. Wait, so this is the enemy of... So this whole battle is between, what, Drifter and Relic? It's the highest point. The highest point on the map would probably be either here... Or here. But I'm assuming... It's here. That'd be my guess. Okay, let's go drop the ship part off. And then go, oh, wait a second. It's a light. Okay. I wonder what this light's about. I didn't save. I didn't save. I'm stressed. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Is it like a little bit of everything that I'm fighting here? Oh, is it one of those stalkers? I was stalkers? About to start on lunch. Three eggs. First eggs in a month. But I'm I guess I'll have sorry, to. Sorry, Miss Crusher. <laughs>
We defeated the Crusher. I guess. And... Something happened weird. I didn't get a prize for defeating the Crusher. I just got... The Earth destroying them. I actually kind of liked them. As a boss fight, it was interesting. But like, their aesthetic seemed really fun. I know I sped that up, but that was just because that boss fight literally took like 20 minutes and now I have no health, which isn't great. I'm going to die. Okay, we're good. What happened to my life steal? Okay, let's just go. I'm going to die to this guy. He can't reach me. He can't reach me. I can't die, right? That's how it works. That's how it works. We're at the crash site. But I'm not too, like, secure about the crash site, if you will. I don't necessarily think it's going to be safe on the return of the fifth ship part. And look how, look how green I am. I'm very glowy. Where's the save point? There, it's right here. Need this. Oh, I needed that. That's a good feeling. Go. Go. Go find stuff. Why is everyone so angry right now? Usually you are so welcoming. Is that me? I woke up in a bartering mood. You always wake up in a bartering mood. I don't... Here. Here's the last shit part. I gotta go swallow a pebble, okay? I'll stay up, get it patched in, we'll be ready to fly in the morning. Okay. Of course, unless Matilda gets that static field figured out, we won't actually be able to go anywhere. Too tired to think about the next thing. Right, you need your sleep. Feels like I've been waiting so long to sleep. Good night. Something wrong? Maybe you're too wound up. Maybe. Hold on. I'll try again. There. I am falling asleep now. Good night. So it's the morning, it's kind of snowy, and this person's waiting for us. We can't talk to them. Bill's not here. Need anything? What? Where's he hiding? Take a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm guessing to the left is where the highest peak is, as they were asking me to do. But we're gonna go up to the, the, the highest peak, if you will. This has gotta be it, right? Right? Let's go check it out. There's some green healies. They usually mean something. Rote Shotter. This is actually just a new biome, I think. Is it through the new biome? Oh, that's gross. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I might have to fight a big bug. I don't like it. This goes down. Oh, 
Oh, a save point. Beautiful. I don't like the, like, and also the audio, the music behind it. Very creepy. Oh, I didn't see him. You guys are annoying more than anything else. They want to jump on this like, it looks like a bunch of bugs. Oh, I don't like that. So many dead bugs. Oh, I don't do bugs. Not like this game wants me to do bugs. Do we need to kill these bugs? Because they're not that aggressive. Do once you shoot your gun. I see. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. It got real bad. It got real bad. Okay. I'm gonna have like no health going into whatever fight I'm going into. Might as well just go ahead and kill him now. Get right under him. Lay a shotgun into their back. Scab device. Fires curious eggs. Okay. What do these curious eggs do? They help me out? Let's find out. Is it like Blob Bloom a bit? Oh, it might be better than Blob Bloom. Well, if it wasn't on the left hand side, then it's gotta be on the right, right? Can I climb this? Oh, I might have to go around. Anyone? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, I can, I can be cheeky. It's gotta be up here near Outlier. It's all snowy up here, and usually when the higher up on a mountain you are, the more snowy it is, so shows promise. Men's Crossing. Oh yeah, because it goes up further. It could be useful. I don't know if I can go up further, but maybe I can. What's up, outlier? Just walking by. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna climb a mountain with my ankle spikes. This place looks barren. Does it keep going up? It does. Okay, I went the wrong way earlier. I was convinced the left hand side was where it needed to go. I was wrong. Oh my god, I gotta keep going up. Is Drifter gonna turn out to be the bad guy? Because I kind of like Drifter. They share stew with me. Except for I don't eat. After all of this, if it turns out it's Drifter, I'm gonna be real upset. 
That's a wobbly looking tree. Oh, it's a statue. Hey, buddy. Hello, robot statue. There's a plant growing out of your head. I think it's neat, actually. It's like a hat. Plant hats. I like it. I like it. So where do I eat this pebble at? Do I consume the pebble here? I have to do it in my... Perspective gained. Oh, I haven't already had the perspective. Okay, apparently I'm stupid. I had to deactivate here and then just wait for the... Yeah, wait for this. I would have never figured that out. And it's probably because they told me in dialogue and it like left my brain as soon as I, as soon as it was mentioned. But we are now headed to the cut machine. Whew. Sucks that I already used the pebble ahead of time. Man, this is a really long walkway, too. What exactly is a cut machine? Is this where the worm lives? Is this where Gorna? Or is this Gorna's masters? I'm here. Always here. You okay? At this time, here. Okay. Yes. You're aware, apparently. And certain of your moment. Hubris, but no matter. Welcome to the cut machine. You are... What are you exactly? Not sure. What are you looking for? Nothing. I'm just exploring. Ghosts sometimes come looking for a home. Must seem a fun embrace our chamber. Ang angles, vibrations, all precisely calculated. Built to replicate a specific aspect of Muscorna, to hold the spirit tight outside time while we make our cuts. And you don't know these words, do you? It's confusing. A little confusing. That's okay. It's not important now. Are you curious to see the world's end? Marvel at the quiet, whatever you are. I'll show you the end. It was by my hand. No, I shouldn't feel such pride. Mr. Jessica was always the genius, I only his assistant. I turn dials, flip switches, take notes. Still, I am here at the very last, at this time, and it is my hand to be precise in the end. Jezico? Samen, you know him. Construct, you know him. In your moment, he's both of these. But to me, both were Jezico. Jezico was a brilliant man. He set aside his family, spent his wealth and his youth, built up laboratories and ships and machines. They mocked him for it, cruel nonsense that only made me love him more. No one believed in the soul, but he found it. No one believed in God, but he found that too. Gorna and the sun. The eater of ghosts. Now you're stuck here? I don't get it. We built this chamber in order to split Mr. Jezico's spirit into three separate beings. Two remained here on the moon, the anchors, Samen and Construct, snug in their metal. The third, the pure ghost, was set adrift. It was pulled up to the sun, to the mouth of the worm god. But Muscorna could not swallow Jezico's ghost, as it was tied down, as it was here, and there, and there, three places at once. Jessica had hoped this incongruity would rip its guts, rend it through, bleed the dumb beast, and kill it outright. Instead, we find ourselves in a stalemate. That's your perspective in any case. Gorner remains, injured but alive. A third of Jessica remains. Caught in his mouth, the ghosts linger. The Roslock invade, the dead rise. The world ends. My perspective is different. Here, now in my moment, is only hope and progress. Your ear to my heart, explorer. There's only joy. 
only in this moment. I checked the figures, adjusted the lenses, initiated the sequence. I have vaporized Brave Jessica's body, cut a spirit in three. A success. In this moment, always a success. The same in part blinks. The construct part shudders. The ghost part drifts. The cut machine hums. Our work is forever. Leave or stay. It's the same thing. Is there anything else here? There's nothing I can go through. So, Jezico, it was exactly what I thought earlier. They cut themselves into three parts. I didn't realize there was a person up here stuck forever doing the work. Excuse me. Everyone. 